Do you hang out here in the dark? <laughs> She's not in the dark. We'll be back, sissy, okay? Love you. Love you. It's freezing cold. <laughs> Good morning! It's freezing cold this morning. Let's see if we can... Oh, I saw yours. It's bad when you can see your breath in the car. What is the temps? 29 degrees. 29 degrees, y'all. And the car didn't crank this morning when we pressed the button. First world probs. First world probs. Tanner's driving today, which is weird for me. Because Chandler was like, go crank up the car. And I was already on this side and I got in. I was like, well, I might as well just freaking drive. We woke up early this morning. It is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. MLK. MLK had a dream and so do we. And that is to get the gains. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. What a good guy. Yeah. So we're headed to the gym. <laughs> What's new? And Dr. MLK. Yeah, doctor. I shouldn't disrespect him like that. It's, it's not Dr. MLK day. Doctor? Doctor? Anyways, so today we're hitting legs, but that's not the point. We are not hitting legs on camera. Today we are going to be talking about gym etiquette because I know sometimes mm -hmm. it can be intimidating to go to the gym. Gym intimidation is a real thing. It doesn't have to be though. It doesn't have to be. So I think one of the things with come with that like that goes hand in hand of why you feel intimidated is because you don't really know like the rules and expectations. Because there are unwritten rules. So this is gonna be gym etiquette 101. 101. And then I'll make a 102 if I need to. Yeah, and if we need to, we'll bring out the a two to two edition. For if there's anything I missed. Yeah, so. We missed. Let's go ahead, head to the gym. My legs are freezing. I feel pretty good. This puffer's lit. So we were gonna try to find a different place to film besides the car, but this is gonna be gym etiquette 101 from the car. I think my seatbelt off. We're going nowhere. Because we all of the rooms were taken at the gym. Uh -huh. um, we tried, but so basically we're just gonna do like a little talk through and insert some clips. Insert some clips of examples of some proper gym etiquette. We have our list here. We're just gonna go through it. We're gonna insert some clips. Yes. It's pretty straightforward, but we figured that this would be helpful if you are looking to go to the gym and you're not sure what the etiquette is. So, Because there's no reason, there is no reason to be intimidated. No. We are all at different levels of expertise. And fitness. And so, Everyone is there be, yeah. to better themselves, remember If anybody that. in the gym is hating on you because you're in it if for something you're doing, they're not in it for the right reasons and I promise that's the minority. Oh yeah, gosh yeah. What is number one? Number one, use headphones. Yes, please. because I have a couple of times, not a lot, but there have been people that listen to their music out loud. I'll never understand it. And it's just rude. Like, it rude. It's, nobody wants to listen to what you're listening to. Put in your headphones and if you forgot your headphones, just deal with it. Listen. Yeah, I mean, there's music in the gym. Yeah, Chandler uh, has forgotten his headphones so many times. You know, sometimes it's not bad to just get in and focus and, you know, really dig into a workout without music in your ear, so. Use your headphones. Next. Number two, ask if someone is using the equipment if they are near it. What does that mean? It means if I know that I need to use a Smith machine for bench press and I'm walking to the Smith machine and I see somebody around it, there's nothing wrong with just pointing at it, even if they have headphones even in, if they have headphones and just saying, in. are you here? Are you using this? Normally, if they have headphones in and you're like, are you using this? They know what you're saying and they're, they're it's like- It's universal. Yeah, they're like, yeah, I'm using it or no, 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 go ahead. So Nothing wrong just with ask. asking a question. Also pay attention to if there's already weights on the bar. Yes, if okay, if, they, if you walk up to a machine and there's already like weight on it, somebody may have just stepped away and to use the restroom or whatever and they're still using the machine so wait a minute see if there's someone around it if it's been a couple minutes and nobody's using it and there's weights on it go ahead use it what i like They've to lost do their right yes they have what i like to do is really think about what i'm going to be doing next and so as i'm getting to my last set of whatever i'm currently doing i'm looking at the machine i'm going to use mm -hmm. next and if somebody's on it or not and if i see that they are i get over there there's some weights then i might give it a second next and very important piece Bring a water bottle or bring a bag and put it on the equipment that you're using. Have something with you. This is a universal sign that says, I'm using this. That's a universal sign of, back up, beesh. 
right? Yes, yes. But just know if you're gonna put your bag there, use the machine. Mm -hmm. Don't think, oh, okay, I have squats coming up in my next like five exercises, so I need to go ahead and save that machine because it's busy today. Don't do that, that's rude. That is rude. All right, you're coming to a gym, it's Monday, it's International Chest Day, it's the new year, so there's a ton of people in is there. Is Monday Chest Day? International Chest Day. I thought leg day was on Monday. She'll learn. See? I know, See? I know so little. See, she comes too. <laughs> you, just because you don't know, you don't know. That's fine. Pay attention next time you're in your gym on a Monday and there's going to be a lot of people on the bench press. Nuh-uh. That's a thing. It's International Chest Day. Okay, anyways. Um, so, if it's a busy gym, do your best to stay off of your phone or at least limit your time on your phone. Like in between. You know how you're like in between sets and you want to get on your phone and like check Instagram, post your boomerang that you're like flexing on them and stuff like that. And like, again, personally, nothing wrong with taking a swolfie. No. Or if you want to take when you're at the gym. a photo every single day that you're at the gym, do not feel bad about it. It's good. I mean, you can look back and see the progress you've made too. Yeah. People, again, and this is another thing about gym intimidation. You can go in and you can take pictures of yourself if you want to. Because Heck yeah. To be honest, there are a couple reasons to work out. One of them is to look better. So why would you not? Be proud of Getting yourself. a sick pump. Yeah, I'm going to take a picture. What? Before I was pregnant, I was probably taking a picture every day in the gym. There's nothing wrong with it. Stop. Okay, the next point. I, we might mount five. It doesn't matter. Allow others to work in with your sets and ask to work into others if it is uh, a busy gym. If it's busy and you gotta get in there and you have a time limit, you can't be waiting around. If somebody's working on a machine and you need to work in with them in between their sets, just ask them. 99% of the time, they're gonna say, yeah, sure. You have snot dripping. Again, <laughs> if it's a busy gym day, <laughs> uh, this is so, you know, everybody says this, but re-rack your weights. It's just polite. They have signs on the walls that say, re-rack your weights. And if it's too heavy for you to re-rack it, it's too heavy for you to be lifting so it. So that's 102, because there's some ways that you can use heavy weights. And um, even if you're struggling to rack them, there's ways to do it, but that's in gym etiquette 102. Yes. If you're sweaty, wipe down your equipment, please. And wear deodorant. Don't be nasty. Please wear deodorant at the gym, we, please. Don't make us suffer because you don't want to wear D.O. There have been times that I have not been able to work out on a specific piece of equipment because someone near me did not have deodorant. Dramatic, you didn't want the no, games bad no, enough. No, no, it was bad. <laughs> so please, just wear deodorant. And Let everybody use the mirror in the gym. You know, if you're if people are already using it and you're going and you're picking up weights off the dumbbell rack because the dumbbell rack is usually in front of the mirror, well, take a step is. to the side. Um, take a step back, back yeah. you know, allow other people to be able to get to the dumbbells and then also other people to see what they're doing. Being able to look at yourself while you do an exercise is actually really important because it can help you with your form and to beat that massive pump. True. So this one's kind of, um, some people may have different feelings about it, but grunting in the gym is okay. Yeah. Yelling is not. Yeah, you 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 really don't. You need don't to have to. I'll tell yell. you what. There are particular gyms where it makes more sense to be doing that. Bodybuilding um, gyms. It's not going to be your in powerlifting gyms, but it's not going to be your commercial gym. So the last one, and I think this one's pretty important for safety too. Uh, don't be afraid to ask somebody for a spot if you're doing a lift that requires one. Um, there are some things where you know if you're doing bicep curls, you really don't need a spotter. But if you're doing squats or you're doing bench press and you're squats. working up to a high weight. Um, one, the trainers in your gym mm -hmm. should be able to provide a, a spot for you. Um, other people will too. Ask the ones that are near you that are maybe doing similar exercises because mm -hmm. then they might ask you for one too. And sometimes it's just people don't ask and because yeah. they're afraid to ask and somebody gets hurt. Don't die trying to max out because you don't want to ask for a spot. That's a good point. That is Gym Etiquette 101. 101. 102, if needed, will be coming. Uh, let us know if there's anything that you didn't hear from us that you know you think is important so that everybody can see it in the comments. Um, if there's anything else you want to, us to cover and uh, like more deeply really dive into, happy to do that. Yeah, let us know down below. Things are gonna start picking up in the fitness. Yep, little baby's gonna get ripped. Baby's gonna be ripped. The whole man fam's gonna be ripped. Mamma's gonna be ripped. <laughs> Everybody. She's getting her surgery at post surgery. She's on the plane. Yeah, everybody's on the plan. Um, <laughs> so again, though, don't be intimidated to go in the gym. It's Grind. a great place. You know, go in. It, you're doing it for you. You're not really doing it for other people. So, go in, enjoy yourself. Try to learn. We love it there. Do research. 
I do a lot of research on different things. Get you a trainer if you need one for the people that are, you know, how do I start? I think a really good place to start is to get a trainer. It doesn't mean you have to use them forever. We'll leave our trainer down below. Thank you guys so much yes. for watching today's video. We the had professor fun. professor and his assistant. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.